Hi guys, get ready with me for a night out in Mallorca featuring Sasha. You can't see her, but she's there. Hi. Yeah, we're just going to go to dinner. Well, actually, we're going to take some pictures. Then we're going to go to dinner. Then we're going to go to a club. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how we're feeling. I need my makeup to last a really long time and through a lot of heat. So let me show you my secret to getting it to stay on for hours in the heat, through sweat, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm using this. Say it. This I think. Lirac moisturizer. Um, I got it in Italy. It says Lirac Paris. So I think it's French, but then I said that it was French in my last Get Ready With Me, and someone said it wasn't. So now I'm a little confused. So yeah, we're just going to be well moisturized because you do not want a dry face when doing your makeup. For my primer, I'm going to use the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. I cannot tell you how good this stuff is. I usually put it in my hands, but for videos, I feel like I do it like this, just so you guys can see the product. Rub it in my hand, and then just pat it into my skin. This is the hair I just did for tonight. Um, it's in my, or it's going to be in my Mallorca vlog, so if you wanna see that, go check that out in a couple of days, cause it's probably not gonna be up yet. Okay, foundation choice is the Dior Backstage Foundation. This is so good for like lasting through a lot of heat and stuff like that. Right, so I just pour out a lot of my hand. I know it looks really dark, but my body is really dark. So I'm just gonna warm it up on the palm of my hand and then put it on my face. I'm also just gonna bring it down my neck because I also don't tan my neck. Um, so I can't really see what I'm doing here. Because I'm using the viewfinder, I hope. I hope this is looking okay. Um, I just had to go finish applying it in the bathroom because it dries really fast. But I was just applying it with my fingers, and then I went over it with this brush, and I'm still kind of blending in just because I want to make sure everything's blended properly. And I got it on my shirt and set. I still have a few blemishes peeking through, so I'm just going to take a little bit more. Taking this brush and just going over all the imperfections that I would like covered up. It's mainly my cheeks, but also my ears are looking a little pale, so we're just gonna do that too. And my eyelids. I just can't with how pale my face is in comparison to the rest of my body, but we don't want wrinkles, so we better keep our face covered. Okay, I think that's good. I really, I don't know, I really can't see. The lighting in here is just not great. So I'm just going to contour now using the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. Oof, it's really bright in here. I don't do that much on my forehead because I feel like I have a pretty small forehead. I have to grab this mirror because legit cannot see. Oh, this is so much better. My eyebrows need to be done so bad. Yeah, I'm going to contour my lips a little too. I don't really ever do jaw, so this is what we're going to keep it as. And I do a little blending with my finger. Why is the lighting doing this? Oh, I applied so much product. Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe I've done this. Oh. No, this is... I'm deleting this whole video. <laughs> Why? Well, if you came in here and saw what I looked like currently, you would understand. Just contour? Help. Help! What happened? <laughs> what happened? I don't know. I put on. Okay, hold on. No, it's working. Blending out with the brush a little bit better. Wow, that was scary. Have you used it before? Yeah. And it's never done that before? Not that it's never done that. I just feel like I applied way too much because I can't really see in here. I'm looking directly out the window, which is super bright, and it's just kind of like making my eyesight not that great because it's way too bright. With this brush, I'm just gonna blend out the eye contour. I might go for like a darker look than usual today, um, like a sultry vibe, but not too crazy because I'm still on vacation and it's summer, and I don't like to do really dark makeup in the summer or ever, to be honest. Wait, Sash, do you have eyeliner? No. You just asked if something's an eyeliner brush. Yeah, but I can't find it. Oh. How'd it work? Was it good? Uh, no, my eyeshadow. Do you have a black shadow? I have a black shadow. Do you? 
Yeah, it's in this palette. The brush is good. My the brush is the best. It's so precise. Mm -hmm. The brush we're talking about is the BK Beauty brush. Um, I'll show you to you guys later. It's like their little eyeliner brush. So it's good. literally. Okay, yeah, I apply too much on my nose too. Oh. <laughs> so I'm just patting the nose contour in with this brush and hoping that I can make it look a little less dark. I'm also just gonna kind of like bring it into the eyes. I'm pulling out a bigger brush for this because it's just taking way too long. Okay. This is looking pretty good. Um, when I put on the concealer, it's gonna blend even more. So I'm debating between these two concealers. This is the Hourglass, this is the Lancome, but I think I'm gonna do the Lancome because I just feel like it just does not crease. And like I said, we're gonna be in the heat, so let me get the right call. I just like to highlight my forehead, my chin, under my eyes, and then tip of my nose and the bridge okay that's been on for a bit I like to do a lot of layers of setting spray always but especially when it's hot out so layer one I do before blending up my concealer you okay over there yeah. what's wrong yeah. Sasha's having some hair troubles yeah honestly that's why I just put mine in a slick thing because last night I wasn't happy with my hair Okay, something is happening, but I'm not a fan of right now. Why is my makeup not working? Why is it so patchy? You guys, I don't know, my makeup is just like not working the way it usually does here. Okay, this is just gonna have to be fixed. Like, I have no idea why it looks like this. This brush again to try and kind of blend it out. I don't know if this, the sponge is too wet or what. But I'm really not happy with what's happening right now. Are you both struggling? We're both struggling. I don't understand. And like it's super patchy down here. I just don't know what went wrong. There was this one night <clears throat> in Italy where we got ready and like my makeup looked the best it's looked this entire trip, in my humble opinion. But we didn't even end up going out because there was a huge storm. So it was a waste. And now my makeup looks like this on in one night that we're like actually going all out. I don't even know how to fix this. Okay, I'm taking a sponge, although I don't know if I should be taking a sponge. This might be the culprit. But I've never had an issue with the sponge up until like right now. I don't know. I'm just gonna go over where like the makeup was coming off. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna take a brush. This is, this is absurd. Okay, I'm taking this brush again. I'm just gonna kind of apply the product wherever it like came off. That's just decent. And then right here, it's like super. Oh, Sasha, will you come look at this? Okay, I'm gonna. I'm grabbing my like big foundation brush again, just because there's so much that needs to be reapplied here. It's insane. I'm not sure why this is happening, but this is a good teaching moment, I think. You know, how to fix busted makeup. I'm assuming you guys follow me because you like how I do my makeup. So just, you know, that sometimes my makeup too turns out looking like garbage. So don't be hard on yourselves if it doesn't turn out the way you want. Always practice and just try to Keep working at it to make it better. I don't know why I'm going into this huge motivational rant, but I think I need motivation. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Okay, that was a minor setback, but we're back at it. I'm gonna do blush next, the Refi Clean Blush. This is so good, you guys. Like, I love the color. I love everything. I don't know how it's gonna look with me being tan, though. I haven't used it yet. Looks good. Looks good. Patting it in. I like to bring it up towards like my temples as well. I'm gonna put it on my forehead, a bit on my nose. Oh, did I say what I'm setting with? 
I don't think I did. It's the um, Givenchy Cosme Libre powder in the shade Wall Rose. Sash? Yeah? How do you say Prisme Libre in correct French? Prisme Libre? I don't know. Prisme Libre? I don't know what Prisme is, but Prisme Libre. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but she speaks, speaks French. And I take a light dusting of powder and just put it gently all over the face. Maybe down the neck too, because I actually applied a generous amount of foundation on my neck. Borrowing Sasha's Nars Laguna bronzer, I'm just going to dip this big fluffy brush and kind of go over the contour. And I'm trying to be super careful because I feel like the contour is where I went wrong last time. And I'm being very careful, very light hand, trying not to disrupt the makeup underneath at all. I'm going to go over my blush with the Persona blush in Georgia. Beautiful little pink. There's no mirror. I also realized in my last Get Ready With Me, literally, I'm always holding up the product like this. You guys couldn't even see anything. Wait, Sash, play a Bob St. Clair song. I know, look at that. Wait, this is him? Remix. I know this song. With the same brush, I'm just gonna highlight using the Dior Face Glow Palette. Oh, I'm looking super glowy. I'm also going to use that same shade to contour, not contour, sorry, highlight my nose. Did I take a wrong side on my lashes? No. <laughs> Where'd my lid go? After. Yeah. That was the cute. That's the cutest sneeze I've ever heard. Sorry, I sneeze like a grandfather. After all the powders are on, we're going to go in with a setting spray, which is really foamy from that drop. And I really drench my face. Now I'm gonna do eyes before I do eyebrows using this um, Revolution Gilded Palette. I don't know if they sell this anymore, but this is honestly one of my favorite palettes. It's just so good and it was like 20 bucks. Like it's amazing. Um, I'm just gonna go in with like a light brown, big fluffy brush and we're gonna start in the crease. And I'm just dragging that up. Oh, it's sold out. Oh, wait, never mind. And just dragging that up and out. Now with a smaller brush, I'm gonna go in with this darker brown, literally my most loved shades in this palette. And we're just going to define this contour. Contour. I mean, yeah, I guess it's a contour. This crease contour. And I'm also just going to lay down a base for the shadow liner that I'm about to put on. And don't worry about blending it out. I'm going to do that in a second. And I'm also just going to kind of like pull it out here so we're following that like fox eye shape or si siren eye. I don't even know. With that original brush. I'm just going to blend that out. Gorgeous. I'll be right back. I'm just going to copy paste. Okay, so this is how the eyes are looking. Now I'm going to do a little bit underneath with this darker shade here. Just under. I feel like my eyes are really looking green right now. Honestly, I'm liking this. Now with a little smudger brush like this one, I'm going to pick up this black shade and start drawing on a ring. The thing is, I want it to be like really diffused, so I'm gonna lightly like bring it into the brown eyeshadow, like that. Okay, now that I have this shape kind of laid down, I'm gonna go in with this dark brown. You can honestly do this with any palette that has a bunch of like matte neutrals and I'm gonna start blending that out. I'm just gonna take this brush and this little brown color and diffuse that even more. Like that, I love how this is looking. Now I wanna do an inner corner wing, so I'm going to take 
this dark brown and this black and just like mix them together. This is the brush I was talking about. This is the BK Beauty 208 brush. It's literally amazing. It's so precise. Now I'm going to take one of these shimmery shades. I don't know which one to go for. I'm just going to go for this one. And I'm just going to pat that onto my eyelid. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. Oh my god. Max Stack Mascara on the lashes. Okay, I just put on a little outfit while my lashes were drying. For lashes, I just cut these. Oh my god, I've shown you guys these a million times. But for lashes, I just cut these Kiss Wispy Lashes in the style Pompadour. So I just cut them in half. And I'm just going to pop them on. The lashes are on like I said I cut them in half and these are the little leftover halves so I think I might cut one of them and put it at the end of my eyelashes because I just want a little bit more oomph you know so I'm just taking this tiny bit of lash and we're gonna pop that on the corner right on top of that other lash oh yeah that's definitely giving me the drama the camera battery is about to die, so I'm just going to do my eyebrows off camera, but you guys have seen me do it a hundred million times. I just use the NYX brow pen and then the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. Okay, brows are on, lips are again, or lip liner is again. Shout out to Sasha. I lost, first of all, I ran out of two of my lip liners and then I lost one, so now I just have no lip liner. I also brought Pillow Talk, but it's just not the vibe right now. So this is the Sephora brand lip liner in the shade Monarch, I think. Let's see how that looks. That's pretty. So I'm just overlining and kind of filling them in a little. For lipstick, we are doing Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW. Sash, you gotta try this one. And that is the finished look. I just dropped this again. I'm not gonna do a lip gloss because I feel like that makes my lipstick fade faster and I want it to last for the pictures, but I am gonna do one last layer of setting spray and I am all done. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. If you like this vibe, subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.